people tend to ignore or forget the fact that appearance don't actually matter. They don't. For example, when we see someone with a harsh look ignoring everyone, we may think that he's arrogant. But we can never know until we get to know that person. We can never assume things about people without knowing them. That's true, but still, people don't take the time to think about this. Also, if you have not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell notification bell to get inspired by these real-life stories every day. Now back to the story. Bikers, too. Most of them have a fearsome reputation. Because they look tough, ride bikes, have beards and tattoos, and wear leather clothes. But until you get to know them properly, there's really no reason to call someone a dirty biker. Luke Perot was test driving his mom's motorcycle when he needed some refreshments. So he pulled into a local Tim Hortons restaurant in Canada. While queuing, he caught the eye of a small girl. Luke is a biker and an imposing figure. So he stands out in a crowd. The little girl said hi and Luke smiled and said hello back. But the girl's mom noticed and what she said shocked him to the core. We don't talk to dirty bikers. That's what the girl's mom said. She then grabbed her by the hand and hurried her out of the store. That hurt Luke. So he penned a Facebook status to show his true self. To the family in the red SUV at Tim Hortons today. Yes, I am a big 280 pound guy with motorcycles and full of tattoos. I'm a welder. I'm loud. I drink beer. I swear. And I look like I'd eat your soul if you stare at me wrong. What you don't know is that I've been happily married for 11 years. My kids call me daddy. I'm a college graduate. My mother's proud of me and tells everyone how lucky she is to have such a wonderful son. My nieces and nephews are always happy to see their Uncle Luke. When my daughter broke her arm, I cried more than she did. I read books. I help people. I get out of the way to thank war veterans, and I even cried at Armageddon. Next time I smile and say hi to your little girl and you grab her and tell her, No, dear, we don't talk to dirty bikers. Remember that even though you hurt my feelings, this dirty biker would be the first person to run into your burning house to save your little girl's goldfish so she wouldn't be sad. It's proof that you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. We hope she apologizes for the hurt feelings she caused. Let us know what you think of this story in the comments and share with your family and friends.